Go, 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 It's alive! Oh my god. Oh, you can see the color just change. So beautiful. That smells so great. It smells like kind of like Christmas. Christmas wine. Yeah, it smells like yeah, Christmas wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you eat the flower? I eat the flower. Another adventure. Ish. Let's do it. Small rope. Oh, look at this. this is a train track? Here? Yeah. That's cute. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right. So, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? What is the most popular outdoor sport in Taiwan? I would say hiking. Yeah, I'm pretty close, right? right? Yeah. You're close, you're close. <laughs> Fuck. So maybe the second one. Okay. <laughs> second one. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Hey, boo boo. Come on, boo boo. Let's go. Hey, hey boo boo. Nice. Ah, uh, biking. Okay. But today, we're going in the mountain. Mountain, the mountain biking. Okay. So I wanted to do this for many years. That sounds nice. And I always wondered, Taiwan has beautiful mountains, right? Yeah. All around. So there should be a place where you can do mountain biking, and I found one. Have you done mountain biking? Um, I've ridden mountain bicycles. Uh, I went to school in New Orleans, and uh, the roads there were like the surface of the moon. And so if you had a regular bike, it would not no, last right, very okay. long. So I had a mountain bike. I went urban mountain biking. You I mentioned like, your mom is from Colorado. Yeah. So I've gone, I've gone through trails. I've gone through trails in Colorado. I used to go every summer. Yeah. I've broken so many helmets. <laughs> okay. I should be dead. <laughs> but I've never done it in Taiwan before, so I'm looking forward to it, man. So I've never been up in the mountain here in Yilan. Yeah. I always come here for surfing, right. uh, camping by the beach, but I've never done any, any hike or any, uh, any sports up there. Mm. Oh wow. Misty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's actually kind of misty. Introduce you, Yen. More than 20 years of experience. Yeah, more than 20 years on mountain bike. Actually, on peut parler français. Hein? Mais oui. Oui, oui. Si, si tu veux. Voilà. <laughs> Donc on va aller faire une petite balade ici en nature. Oui. À peu près combien de temps? Sorry, mate. D'accord, d'accord, d'accord. Je ne comprends pas, mais. To live in Bordeaux. Okay. A city next to my hometown, Toulouse. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Nice town. So how long is the ride? Uh, it will take about 20 minutes. Yes, it's it's easy ride. It's a very beautiful trail with uh, mild road condition. So it's very good for even for hiking and for the beginner. Anything to, to be aware of? Yeah, this trail is usually humid. So if you, you come here first time, just uh, lower your speed. All right. Sounds good. Okay, let's All go. Right. After you. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, 
脚力，因为它刚好在一个上坡的点。To be honest with you, I didn't feel very comfortable at the beginning. Really? It, it was new, new to me, and sometimes you, you don't feel in control. I know what you mean. And it was very slippery. Yep. I agree with you. Like it is so friggin' humid here. Like I could not keep my tire on the ground. Like as we're going uphill. Right. So at first it was a bit uncomfortable, you know, to, to, to get used to it. But then I just enjoyed. So here is a mild downhill, uh -huh. yeah. and you can try to adjust your body position as yep. attack position sure. because we need to attack the obstacles. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Keep your body flat. Yes, yes, and keep your whole body weight low. There like it is. Keep your body bouncing. Alrighty. Do you mind if I go? Yeah, go, go for it. Very good. Push. Once you are down, start to pedal. Okay. Yay! Nice. Nice. What? You have second chance. There is a, another one. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I get used to it. It'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's slippery. Noise. Because I saw the big rock here. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna get stuck. I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Yeah. To be honest with you, I love to be on the ocean, to be on the beach, because this is really. Um, it's what you grew up with. It's where I grew level. up, yeah. right? And it's to me, it's really freedom. Rather than if you're in the mountain, I feel it's more calm. It's yeah. more peaceful. So it's two different feelings. Yeah. I felt that way with the SUP. Like okay. from the other time, that scared me. But then mountain biking, I don't know. I feel like it's because we're on land. Mm -hmm. so the, the worst thing that's gonna happen is I fall down. You know, I think I prefer the mountains. But I think it's my preference, though. I mean, honestly, I love the mountain mountain biking. I wish we would have gone longer. I wish we would have got yeah. a longer trip. And we gotta turn left. Nice. You. Yeah. Nice. Here is our uh, end point to, for today. Okay. And here is the lookout. You can see, <laughs> in wow. good weather, you can see Guishan Dao, Turtle Island. Oh, can, that can dark see thing it? right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah just, just a little bit behind the cloud? Yes, right, yes. I thought it was another cloud, but... Yeah, good weather. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I enjoy a lot? Because I've been, I've done some mountain biking in France yes. and in uh, Whistler in Whistler, Canada. Yes. But I feel like what I've done is most, mostly like, Relax, ballad. Yeah. Like riding along for like two hours, you know. Like a like, ballad? A ballad, you know. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm gonna start using that. How you feeling? Like a ballad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but here is like a lot of small challenges. Yes. And you have to be very focused, control your speed, and it's, it's not easy. No. It's yeah. not easy. So you can see the difference between the trails in other country and Taiwan. In Taiwan, because we have a lot of mountains, and Taiwan mm. is very slim. So with high mountain, all the trails is steeper and yeah. all these trails are pretty wild. They are not man-made and not well maintained. Well, it's not very paved even. It's just like no. there's gravels and stones yeah. and moss and everywhere. Yeah, and also it's humid. So if you want to ride in Taiwan, you need to be very concentrated yeah, to focus. see the trail, yeah. find your line. Yeah, and better to go with someone. 
with, with the Taiwanese because we, we know what, what's here. Right. So is, is mountain biking like becoming more and more popular in Taiwan? Yeah, in the past two or three years, there are more people to join this sport. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows Taiwan is a bike kingdom. Right, 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 right. Almost uh, 7 to 80 percent high end mm -hmm. bicycles are made in Taiwan. Wow. Do you have any competition of mountain biking in Taiwan? Oh, there are some races in Taiwan. Uh, each year, big or small, there are seven or eight. And the biggest one is called the Super 8. And all the mountain bike fans, the riders, the community will gather in Taichung join this festival mm -hmm. with a lot of beers. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I really liked Ian and the mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Super nice. Gosh. So he's like fluent in two different languages, like. French and German. And English. And English. Yeah. I think he has like a PhD in mechanical engineering or something like that. And he's like an incredibly well established mountain biking instructor mm. in Taiwan. But yeah. you know what? I really want to find him. You know, I really want to back to Taipei. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to, yeah, to I... practice again. First, you give me this hat. Yep. Second, you bring me here. Yep. You like the you like the chimichurri I made, right? With the big scallion. With the tuna. Yeah. So, since we're still in Ilan, Ilan is famous for scallions. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, three star. It's three star. Sanxing. <laughs> the place. Oh, the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the tong is called three star. You know, because there's only max maximum uh, grade is three stars. All right. Anyway, you learn a bit more Chinese now. <laughs> Sanxing, three stars. So yeah, scallions uh, here are, so you remember the big scallion we had? Mm -hmm. It was not so spicy, kind of sweet, right? Yes. This is similar, but it has a bit more flavor and it's not as spicy either. And it has a really long white stalk. So it's got a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. That's where all the flavor of scallion comes from. Okay. You like scallions? I like it. So go ahead, get your finger around the whole thing. Ah. I'm breaking it. There we go. I think I broke it. <laughs> it's a, well, you know, a little too strong. Oh. It smells really good. Though. Yeah. It's got a mild flavor. I love onions in um, in cuisine. Yeah. You know, it, it gives this sweetness. Yeah. In any dishes, but those scallions are really unique uh, sweetness. When you have like a tsong you know yeah. the scallion pancake. Yeah. So should we get? This is enough, or let's get some more. Let's yeah? get some more because this is a whole, a whole a full experience. We're gonna wash them, cook them. Cut them, cook them. Wait, you say this one is not ready? No, 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 no. This is fine. We just avoid this one. Now squeeze oh, this one. Now squeeze this one. Hey, okay, Fabio. Let me take those. I got you a flower. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you eat the flower? I eat the flower. Oh. I'm good. You, you, you officially freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's go wash these. Let's go wash these and cook them in here. Oh no, Fabio! <laughs> you okay, buddy? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, you shouldn't be eating wild flowers, but... Shoot, I mean, this is spicy. This is good, actually. It's spicy? But it's super spicy. Really? It's right. Aww. Nice. It's spicy. It's like spicy broccoli. It's a spicy broccoli. Spicy broccoli. <laughs> That's really interesting. Have you tried to cook this? Oh, we didn't eat it. You didn't eat it? No. Is it good or bad? It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. You've never tried it? It's a bitter sauce. It's very bitter. It's very bitter. It's very spicy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some water. All right, yeah. So next step? Yeah, let's we make some. We got our, scre our scallion. 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 <laughs> Is that how you say it in French? Yeah. Have you made this before? Not at all. I made pizza before. What are you going to make today? I mean, you know that some people say that Tonyo Bing, a scallion pancake, all the ancestor of pizza. Because Marco Polo loved them, brought it back to Italy, asked a chef to cook it. I think, I think it's actually Zhou Cai He. Because that's the ancestor of the calzone. <laughs> 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 you do a lot of pastry? 
I don't. No? No. I recently just started getting into it. I love to eat sweets. Okay. But I mean, I will do some... Because, okay, when I'm cooking, I don't like to look at recipes. Sure. I do a lot of recipes like... I'm saying sweet, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Like, uh, it's art, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you have room, room to interpret. Exactly. Yeah. I'm more freestyle. I never seen any 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 scallion pancake pizzaiolo, like turning the paste and uh, you know like tr tr oh. turning the the like market. <laughs> You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. 老板，我帮你们做新的菜单。Because the dough is so thin. I think it's really good. All right, well, let's go fry these up, see yes. what happens. Y yours doesn't look good, huh? No. It's got personality. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put it away from you. There you go. Look at that! Look at that! It's not half bad. See, look, look. Yeah. Oh, my shoes oh, 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 mine's puffing up. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna pop. <laughs> mine's gonna pop. Woo! I think it should be right. Nice. Mmm. But you know, I'm very surprised because it's only dough mm -hmm. and scallions, but it's sweet yeah. and savory. The taste of the scallion is so strong. That's why the Sanxing scallions are famous. Oh, but yeah. I really enjoy going to the field. Yeah. It reminds me, in France, um, we have some um, during the weekend. Parents will bring the kids to the countryside to meet the farmers mm -hmm. and to actually see how the vegetables, fruits grow. Yeah, because food is definitely a part of life. It's not just entertainment. It's like keeps you alive. This is fun though. Like I mean, you and I, we did, we kind of went, we went all out trying our own thing, but mm. it really still tastes very good because yeah, the ingredients are just there. You know. Mm. So, Helen... So what do we do? Because, you know, like, I think 80% of the time I'm coming to Ilan, it's raining. You turn right. <laughs> and then I will show you what we can do when the weather is bad. Ilan is partially from the word Lan Yang Ping Yuan. Yang is the word for sun. Lan is the word for orchid. I don't know how that name came about. However, Ilan, the name, actually comes from the old name of this area which was the indigenous name called Gamalan Ting. Gamalan Ting. Gamalan is what we, where we are now, Kavala. Mm. Uh, you know the whiskey, right? Of course. Oh, nice weather. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm Helen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we're gonna head to the um, uh, touring place. So okay. there's a special show for you. So. Um, there's like uh, 40 acres around here on this okay. side. Wow. And you can see we have a lot of rain yeah. and that's the water resources are from. And we are also surrounded by the mountains. Right, and that's one of the main ingredients, right? Whiskey, like one of the th defining features of whiskey is the water that you use. Yes, amount of water has to be enough, right. like, you know, like big enough to make the whiskey, but also the quality and right. that texture of the water. Okay. So uh, we're gonna... That smells so That's good. <laughs> so this is where we bottle our whiskey. Yeah. But also we have the charring area. So most of the time, if we uh, collect a lot of barrels right here, we will check uh, if the uh, flavors are enough to make the whiskey. So um, that is the cask. It's going to be shaving first. So we have to remove some unwanted substances uh, from the cask first. Mm -hmm. It's alive! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, um, if it's like a wine castle, it means that it used to be made white before. And there are some acid compounds that are left at the inner side of the castle. Mm -hmm. We have to remove it, uh, you know, rather than affecting the right. taste of the Because you don't whiskey. want your whiskey to taste like wine. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it smells like honey and Van and cherry, a little bit of vanilla. Yes, I'm right. It smells great in here. <laughs> so the next step is to roast the barrels on the stage, and then the next step is to burn the cask. So um, stand behind the orange line, okay. that's the oh. same line. Yeah. It's gonna be very hot. 
So... <laughs> kind of like wow. that. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, the purpose to bring out the beautiful substances from the cast by destroying the inner side of the barrel okay. with the fire. So it takes around like 30 to 40 uh, seconds okay. to do the job. Oh, you can see the color just yeah, changing. Just yeah, changing. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. That's beautiful. So beautiful. And so in this process, they're yeah. basically releasing flavor, right? From the, the wood? Yeah. And from the leftovers? Because I mean, we shave off most of it, right? But some of the flavor gets into the wood, right? That's just to remove it. Okay. You know, you know some acid compounds first. Yeah. But this part is to, you know, when you destroy the inner side of the barrel, there's like um, substances coming out from the oak okay. to the charcoal-like layer. So okay. when he put out the fire, you will see the charcoal layer oh. inside of the cask. <laughs> yeah. So but you can smell that already. Kind of like that sweetness. That smells so good. It smells like kind of like Christmas. <laughs> yes, yes. Every day is Christmas. There's like there. cinnamon smell, you know, like the, the wood smell, like yeah. the tree, the pine. The but this is Christmas wine. Well. Yeah, it smells like yeah, Christmas wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So oh, this wow. is very important with the charcoal layer. And so when we add the new mint, which uh, we distilled, and we'll put it in there, and then they can absorb the flavors uh, from the cask more easily. Right. Yeah, so okay. that's the point to do the charring part. OK. So it kind of creates a layer for the for the liquid to interact with the wood. Yes, that's right. Like that's an absorbent point. layer. Yes, yes. Otherwise, it's just a hard finish, and then the wood is going to protect itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very cool, true. very that's cool, true. very cool. Yeah. That's the place we're looking for. Yeah, the tasting room, man. It's part of the whole process. Mm. So, uh, welcome to our tasting room. Okay. Oh, wow. Actually, Thank we you. have um, prepared for you the... all for these five very mm. unique whiskey okay. expressions. Oh, so in order of the, the yeah, barrels? Yeah, in okay, order okay, of okay. the barrel. I was really amazed how now whiskey is becoming a big cultural aspect of. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. It com is completely out of nowhere, like left field. Mm -hmm. Whiskey is a Scottish thing. Yeah. That is the strangest thing. That is the strangest thing. And, and it was good. Mm. This is kind of cool, man. Like, this entire experience is like, mm -hmm. well, minus the uh, wit getting to see the barrels, everything, and that. That's that's not part of the actual paid tour that they can get, but like, tasting and making your own whiskey. All right. I believe that, you know, Taiwan brings all the good weather condition. Right. Because it's very humid, a lot of water. And it gets hot enough, like it's they said. It's hot enough, the, 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 this temperature balance. Right. And uh, I think it was very smart from them, smart move, like 18 years ago, to build this and, and build an empire. Right. This is really cool. I love to personalize something. Yeah. You know, and to make your own whiskey. Mm -hmm. But I think this is something I'm going to keep at home and maybe for many years and to open just for a special Not a bad important idea. occasion. Because okay. I've made it. I think I might open mine at the cast party. <laughs> 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 I'm not that patient. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But yeah, for people who are, I'm not even that crazy about whiskey, mm -hmm. but the entire process. It's fun, it's fun, you learn about something right. and, and, and you get it to know like it's part of Elan yeah. as well. But really, after this trip, I have a completely new feeling about Elan. Well then come to Elan, uh, you're san you're yeah. <laughs> like I think I prefer to wake up by the beach with a beautiful sunrise, uh -huh. enjoy some swim, some center paddle, and then in the afternoon, drive up in the mountain, okay. enjoy some mountain biking, and then sleep over there. Well, but when do you eat? That's really important, man. On when the do way, you eat? just grab some string <laughs> on your arm and stuff like that. <laughs>